Is this on? <laughs> John has a mic. That's, that's an action, guys. <laughs> this is dangerous. Hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a lot of fun because one, John has a mic. Facts. <laughs> We're doing a Q&A uh, throughout this tutorial, but also this video is created in partnership with Makeup Forever. Today I'm gonna be highlighting their Ultra HD Foundation. This is an oldie but goodie. Ever heard of it? <laughs> John. It's just one of those staple foundations that's really good to have wearing it by itself, which is what I'm wearing today. Also, you can mix it in with like more matte foundations. You can thin it out to make it a little bit less coverage. You can layer it up to add more coverage. It's just a really great medium coverage, natural finish foundation. I think it looks really, really good on the skin. It's very lightweight, very breathable. I don't remember exactly when I first started wearing it, but I know this was my daily foundation when I worked at Target. I feel like when I was doing really long shifts, this one just held up best throughout the day. So it was, I put it on super early in the morning, would wear it all day long. And it's like, you get good coverage out of it, but it doesn't feel like you're wearing a lot on your face. This is actually the look that I wore. If you follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, maybe you should. Yeah, plug in guys. <laughs> I wore this look to a party last Friday and I loved the way that it came out. So I want to show you guys the eyeshadow that I did. It's it's like a sparkly, smoky, perfect for a party makeup look. We're going to be answering some questions that you guys had throughout this video. I found that the closer you get to the microphone, the better. I just think it's funnier when you're wearing a big... <laughs> <laughs> I hate him so much. Anyway, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started now. I do have my Tarte Pack Your Bags eye patches on today. I also did a nose mask on my pore, the philosophy one, on my nose, and I feel like it actually worked really well for right before doing my makeup. I feel like I need to do that more often. Anyway, all right, starting our makeup here. I'm dipping into my Milani Cosmetics Soft and Sultry Palette. This is definitely one of my like go-to palettes. I use this really often and then I stopped because I was like using a bunch of other palettes, but now I'm, I used this one the other night and I was like, dang, I forgot how good this is. So I'm gonna start in Tentation, this here. All right, so we're gonna start with the questions. I already have a few good ones. Oh, really? Nice. The first question I thought was pretty interesting. Do you believe in the zodiac and do you know your moon sign since you're both Scorpios? So I've thought about this a lot. I feel like it's not that I don't or do believe it. It's just that I don't understand it is probably what it is. I feel like there is probably some truth behind it. And I feel like a lot of people really do strongly relate to their sign. I just never felt like I personally did. And I don't know my moon sign. I feel like we should go get red or something. Honestly, that's so your sign that you don't want to agree with what your sign is. Is that my sign? Because I feel like John is like, if you look up the def definition of Scorpio, it's you. But I don't think I really am. Maybe you weren't born in November. Like my mom just doesn't know when I was she born. Might have forgot. Yeah. So it was like the whole Mercury retrograde thing. Is that like? That's next level. That that's. Is that I'm next level? Buying, I'm not buying that. Okay. So I was talking to my trainer right about this. I was like, am I just using Mercury retrograde as like an excuse as to why this week is absolute shit? And he was explaining to me. He was like, oh, it was like a. Did you say a heavy moon. T. You don't believe in that? Okay. So he kind of explained it to me, and I was like, wait a second. That kind of makes sense. Of Gravitational pulls. The earth is made of mostly water. We're made of mostly water. It's gonna have some type of effect on you, you know? You're not buying it. Heavy moon? Heavy moon. Yeah, it sounds like uh, googly gook. Gook. <laughs> Wait, did you answer if you believe, in, you believe it or not? I don't use it to make life decisions, but I think that there's some traits that are. Yeah. When I did this look, I wanted to not do like a really winged out shadow. I wanted it to be more smoky in the center of the eye. So I started the transition color just right on the outer corner and swept it up and in towards like the, the bridge of the nose right here. Just starting with the soft color first and then we're gonna build it up with this color here, which is smoking hot. Next question, oh, I love this one. What annoys you most about each other? I have a good one for this one. I think I was ready to answer this. I feel like I need to air it out. Although he knows, he definitely knows. He's doing this new thing where he doesn't want to eat when I eat. I'll make dinner, he doesn't want it. I'll be like, okay, are you gonna have any? He says, no. I put it all away, I clean everything up, and then five minutes after I clean everything up, he pulls everything back out. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. And? That's the problem. How does that affect you? But he like waits, you wait until I clean up the kitchen, and then you're like, oh, I'm gonna have some of this. You know what bothers me the most about you? <laughs> what? This. <laughs> he's feeling attacked. I can tell he's feeling attacked right now. I don't know that it's a thing. I don't give a fuck, you know what I mean? I do what I want. I don't like having eating hours, okay? I like rules. Next step is to come in with the even deeper shade, and this is the brush, another brush that I've been loving, Sigma Firm Blender E44. So now I'm gonna be packing this on the outer corner and slowly bringing it in, but you see the shape that I'm building here? Like a little... Has John ever cussed at you while arguing, or does he walk away? Both, I do both. 
you guys were curious, I do both. What's the definition of cussed? He's I never think. called me a name. Oh, no. Like, if he called me the B word and, like, meant it, it would be so bad for you. <laughs> right? I think it'd be bad for you as you're on the receiving end. It'd be bad for you. Oh, really now? Uh, no, he's definitely more of, like, a walk away kind of person. He'll walk away for, like, an hour and then he'll come back. I love having a mic now, by the way. I think it's significantly funnier. Do you like it? Yes, I really do. Are you getting, like, really close to it? You have to get really close to the mic. <laughs> We're not big arguers. I mean, I think everybody are, like has, you know, arguments and fights, but we don't get like really heated. This is a good one for you, John. Let's hear it. What advice would you give for a single gal looking for love? You think I know the answer to that question? I don't know. I mean, what's your... I've never been a single gal. <laughs> I feel like dating is so different now. Like I'm... Yeah, I'm not familiar with all the apps that exist. Yeah, I feel like uh, whenever I listen to people talk about dating, I'm like fascinated. I don't think we ever really dated. Uh, we right? Did, we did date. I, I will, we dated uh, each other, but I'm just saying, like, I, I personally wasn't huge in the, like, dating scene. That's why I picked you. Is that why? Uh, if you're in the app scene, I would probably get the premium account. That's what I would recommend. <laughs> what does the premium account have to offer, John? I'm not sure, but it's always better than the regular account. Yeah. Maybe you get a couple more images and a longer bio. Mm-hmm. All that helps. Just saying. You're so dumb. For the lid colors, I definitely blended several different shades. I was honestly like just mashing a bunch of different stuff on my eyeball, but I did use the Dose of Colors Block Party Shadows. This is all of them. And when I took them out of their pan and stuck them in here, they basically got re-glued back into here. So they're not moving. I don't know what the exact shade names are. I'm gonna do my best to try and match them online and then write them in the description box down below. But I stuck in like the dark, definitely much darker, cooler undertone shades. So this one, I did use some of the silvery purple one. And then for the inner corner, I used this silvery pewter shade. So you could even go with like some, like a blue green one would be sick too. And then I'm applying it. I'm going to do a mix of applying it with my finger and also this Sigma exact blend brush. Who's more romantic, me or you? Who would you like to answer that question first? I would like you to answer it. Overall, I would say me. You are. I was going to say the same thing. Lately, as of lately, I'd probably say you. Really? I feel like I need to do a better job. You just every once in a while, you gotta remind yourself to be romantic. Mm -hmm. What have I done lately that's romantic? I mean, even you just encouraging, like, hey, let's hang on the couch, watch a movie. That's not overtly romantic, but it's romantic. There's romance there. <laughs> you did leave me a note the other day. You guys, you left me a note the other day on the coffee machine. It was very cute. It was a nice little throwback, right? Yeah, it was cute. I smiled so big when I saw it. It's the little things, guys. You gotta bring the little things back after. How long have we been married now? There's no way to know. <laughs> I think it's been six years. It's been six years, that's for Six sure. years, yeah. We, it was our six year anniversary last month, so. You know how I know? Uh, Desi and Stephen are, are one year more than us, so. And they just had their anniversary. Yeah, they always remember, so. That's romantic. Right? Uh, <laughs> okay, um, so I just mashed a few different colors on the lid. And now I'm gonna take the silver one. I'm gonna bring this onto the inner corner, but the thing to remember if you're using a shadow like this, is it does have like a strong base color. So it is a little bit darker. So I don't bring it like all the way into the inner corner. I'm gonna come in with highlight later and do that because it'll look kind of shadowy and too dark. But I like to take this one and kind of smear it on and then pull it out because it has like the lighter reflex in it. And this is a Sigma E36. E32. Oh. You were close though. If I could do one dramatic look every day for the rest of my life, which would it be? I feel like it would be this. Guy, you knew you were about to talk shit. So just no, 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 no. I was wondering if we should share the story about uh, the just go. <laughs> you want to hear something romantic? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> okay, I just put on plain black liner along the lash line, and I'm going to do mascara and my lashes while John tells you get this story. You were going to a party. I had plans to leave town. He had plans to leave on Saturday and the day of, he decided he was gonna go Friday night. This was the day before, but that's whatever you wanna tell the audience is fine. I'll roll with that mm -hmm. because I'm still good. Cause here. you were supposed to be my Uber that night. Okay, which is kind of ridiculous when you think about it, right? Should we not go to the store? Why not? Should we go to the store? Why do you feel bad now? No, I mean, I just feel like you're gonna crucify me. In this I'm story. not gonna crucify you. It's literally just the truth. It's your version of the truth, but I don't know that it's the truth. Okay, John. So I decided to go out of town early get a head start on my weekend, you know? I let her know early in advance, like, hey, what time would be good if I head out? You know, I wanna make sure I'm here to accommodate you for pictures. Oh my God, you're such a liar! What's the lie about that? Tell me where the lie is. Okay, he told me the day of, 
No, bullshit. Yes, you did. Dude. You told me the day of bullshit. that you were going to, oh, I'm actually leaving tonight. I was like, okay, I guess I'll find my, I'll just walk there. You know, it's fine. Like it's downtown. It'll take me four years to get there, but it's fine. There's an app called Uber. Ever heard of it? Okay, but I said, what time would be good to leave here just so I can coordinate my schedule, right? Well, I said nine and you were kind of like, but I, but I stayed till nine. So I, I already felt like I was inconveniencing him. You know, it was kind of like one of those, like, like a pity stay where they'll be like, oh, the whole time. Check this out, woman. I stayed till nine as per your request. Okay. Yeah. Nine o'clock came around and I was basically like, I said, you know what? Just go. Cause he was like, how long till you're ready? How long? Every time, like five minutes. How much longer till you're ready? How much longer? I looked exactly like this. Yeah. So I knew it was going to be longer than nine. I was just curious, you know, Hey, I'm, you know, I'm coordinating with other people here. So I had decided instead of him asking me every five minutes, me getting all flustered, I was like, you know what, just go, just go. So the question is, fellas, <laughs> would you have just gone <laughs> or do you stick around and cancel your time? 99.9% .9 of the time, just go means if you go, it's bad for you. What do you think I did, guys? He I went. Just fucking <laughs> he went. You know, the great part about having the little eye patches on is that when I take them off, I don't have any fallout. Little reflex fallout. Prime it up here. We're gonna move on to complexion. Now we're gonna move on to the star of the show today, which is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. So today I'm gonna be using shade number Y335. I've been wearing this foundation for a very, very, very long time. My favorite thing about it is it's very lightweight medium coverage and it has a very, very natural finish to it. So I feel like it's a very good daily foundation. So I'm gonna apply it with a brush and then pounce it in with a sponge. So I added in a little bit of 315 into 335. For this area in here, since I already have my brows kind of like hooked up, I'm gonna come in with a concealer brush to do around my brows. And then with the same concealer brush that I used around my brows, I'm just gonna layer on a little bit of extra foundation where I want some more coverage. Yeah. Pressing it in. Looks pretty good, huh? Mm -hmm. Huh? Foundation's not bad either. <laughs> Once I finish applying it with a brush, I like to come in and pounce it in with my sponge. This is the dough sponge. It has a nice natural finish, super lightweight. It almost looks like I'm wearing a little highlight right now too, but I'm not. All right, foundation is looking, woo! I just got a really good question. This is actually something that John wanted to talk. Did you want to talk about this in the video? I don't know. Tell me. Do you have an earthquake plan, like for the big one? Oh, I thought we should share what's in your kit. Yeah. You don't know what's in the kit. That could be a good video, right? Revealing what's in the kit. What's in our earthquake kit? So there was like a 7.1 earthquake about, what was it like two hours away from here? Mm -hmm from outside of LA. When something like that happens, it kind of is like a wake up call. Like, okay, you need to be ready for things like this because it could happen. The next day I went to go buy a bunch of earthquake preparedness things. And of course everything's sold out because I'm like way late, right? So I, I guess you could say if I'm home, I'm kind of prepared. We would be low on creamer. We would run out of half and half for sure. But I have, so we do like the water delivery thing. So I have, I have the five gallon water jugs. We usually always have three of those. So I'm like, okay, we have 15 gallons of water. And then I made a little kit thing that I keep in our closet that has an emergency radio. I have a set of clothes. I told John to pack his own set of clothes and he didn't. And I put a pair of sneakers in there that I was like, okay. Oh, what sneakers do you wear in earthquake disaster? I put a pair of my neon yellow Arkans in there, my Adidas Arkans. Very comfortable, but if you need to work out after the earthquake, that could not be comfortable. Right, what else? I have some like, a bunch of the RX bars I threw in there. Oh, I want one. Do we have some? We have many. Can I have one? It's for the earthquake kit. I'm hungry though. <laughs> I don't care. I'm asking for a friend. Oh, okay. What flavor? RX bars, did you pack? Batteries, I have a battery powered lantern. I have a can opener. I don't know why, but I'll put a can opener in oh, there. that's good. I think we need some source of fire. I put a lighter in there. I love that. You forgot to mention that you put Linda's uh, peanut butter in the go bag. Oh my God, there's peanut butter. <laughs> I need to be prepared, okay? And I need the peanut butter. I need the, I should have stirred it and then put it in there. This one, what's the max number of dogs would you guys own at one time? Three. <laughs> if we could go down to two, we would. <laughs> you guys, Mike is such a handful. Like, she's like that episode of um, Family Guy. Mom, 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 mommy, mommy, mama, mama, mama. What? Hi. <laughs> Love her to death, but that's how I feel. I'm gonna echo those thoughts. <laughs> yeah. This is a good one. Talk to me. 
Who's the spender in the relationship? Kind of thinking it's John, is what it says. Oh, they threw that in. Yeah. And you know what? They are correct. They are correct. John is 100% the spender. You may tell you why. Let's hear why. Because you never know where your fucking credit card is. That's why I've spent No, yeah. John. No. All right, this is like a two-part question. What did you really think about my outfit for the Harouche party? And does John get mad when you show a lot of skin at parties? I thought you looked amazing. What do you mean? I thought the video that you posted looked good. Yeah. I didn't get a chance to see the outfit in person. Mm -hmm. As I was out of town, I was wondering where the rest of it was, if we're going to be totally honest. <laughs> okay, I lost it, but there was a question about how we ended up finding and picking our house, which I think is kind of an interesting story because usually house hunts, well, I mean, I guess we did have a really long drawn out house hunt because we were trying to rent for, how long were we looking? Good eight months, probably. Long really? Time. That long? Long, long time. It was a long time. So we were trying for the longest time to find a house rental and nobody would rent to us because of Turbo. So we were like, really, really like, shit, what are we going to do? And then, I mean, we just are always on Trulia. That's kind of like what we do. This was actually the only house we looked at for purchase. So I know like sometimes house hunts can go on for like a really, really long time, you know, when you're buying, but it was kind of like, we were in such a weird position when we found this house. I was like, there's no way we're gonna like be able to qualify and actually get this place. I think to I buy. told you like, I check this one out and you're like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I literally said, I was like, okay, John. We, so we put an offer in not knowing if we could actually pay for it, I think. Yeah. But we figured out how to get like a pre-approval, put an offer in. And then we figured out all the problems. That was my solution or my strategy because it was just like, let's just figure it out. We'll figure out how to do it. But it was very stressful. We were also going to Switzerland. So we did like half of the escrow from Switzerland, which was like kind of a pain in the ass because <laughs> the time zone is so different. The price is actually really good for like everything else that was getting listed at yeah. the time. But at the same time, it's like the most money anyone ever spends in their life is on their house. So it's like, you right. don't know if you can really pay for it. You know, like that's, there's, there's like a, I don't know. To me, there's a variable there. Yeah, it's kind of like when you just, Cross your fingers and hope for the best. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of that. That was when, like, John really just, I mean, he took the whole thing and, like, he handled it, basically. Honestly, like, even when it comes to, like, if I'm doing an interview or something, like, writing a bio for myself or hyping myself up, anything, I'm just like, no. I'm yeah. like, I'm whatever. <laughs> so I had to hype myself up to the bank, basically. <laughs> yeah. Being a YouTuber at that time, that was, you know, two and a half years ago, like, that was kind of relatively not a real job, at, at least in the eyes of a bank. So we had to kind of hype ourselves up, you know? And, like, we got, we got creative, but it worked. We were in this house, you know? Even when we, like, signed the paperwork and then, you know, sent over the down payment or whatever, I was like, yeah, this is still not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> we still didn't think it was going to happen. When they gave us the keys to the house, I was just like, okay, cool, this is going to, when are they going to take this away? You yeah. Know? But we're still here. We're still here. They didn't take it away. Where do you see yourself or where would you like where would you like to see yourself five years from now? You know, I'm always afraid to put things out into the universe. I don't know. I think it's like a self uh, doubt thing. Yeah. You know? That if I like don't do it, I'll be like failing. Oh. I mean I've always wanted to have an athleisure line or some type of athleisure. I feel like that's one of like my like dream goals I think in life would be so cool. What about you, honey? I would like I think we should have probably have kids in the next five years, it'd be cute. Uh-huh. I think we probably would need a bigger house if we have kids, just cause Mike. I would like to help my mom a little bit more mm -hmm. in the next five years. Professionally, I would like to, uh, you know, do some events and stuff. I would like to have a show like David Letterman does on Netflix, personally. You'd be good at that. Like an interview show? Mm hmm But it could be What's it called again, the David Letterman one? Uh, my next guest. My next guest. By the way, I'm adding, um, this is the MAC Double Gleam Highlight. As in, it's just a really bright inner corner and I'm, kind of just painting it in words. So it adds like a really bright inner corner situation. And I applied it a little bit on the cheekbone using the sponge, not too much. Wow, John, really, you really went in with the five-year plan. Like I didn't have that much. I'm a more of a planner though. You know, you're, you are a planner. you're flexible. I mean, those were all my plans as well. Like having a ranch. All of a sudden. John, stop! <laughs> Oh, this is we talk about this, John. <laughs> Plans are changing. What weird things does John do that make you love him more? Here we go. Here we go. Weird things. Talk to me. I can give you one. What? When I wake up in the morning and I say my hand is swollen. <laughs> okay, if you guys were to see John when he first wakes up in the morning, you would not think it was him, okay? The way he acts in the morning is so weird, but so funny, and I love it so much. 
So I don't know, you just started doing this, he'll wake up and be like, my hands are swollen. <laughs> Sometimes he'll send me a picture of his hand because I'm usually gone before he even wakes up. Tips for couples that work from home together. I think we need the tips actually. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we have tips that we don't implement. So is it like good for us to even say that if we don't? Well, no, we have tips. Prioritize the relationship over the business. Have separate spaces. I think that's important. Okay, I have my own office, she has her own office. If she needs to go do shit by herself, she can go do it. I have my thing I can do by myself. Have a place that you can close off and call your own. I think that's helpful. Yeah. Um, also, uh, tip number three, uh, don't be afraid to get an office, you know, if you outgrow your home. <laughs> that's how John's feeling right now. Currently looking for an office. John would like to get an office space. I feel like it'd be really hard for me to not film at home because I use so many different products. You would just take them all to the office. Oh, prioritizing off time. Mm. Example, we're trying to go to a comedy show this weekend possibly, right? We could both film that day instead, but it's important to prioritize the off time and know when it's okay to not work. I think that's important. Mm -hmm. All right, so I just did a little lip liner action with Anywhere Caffeine. This shade is a li this is the Makeup Forever pencil. It's a little bit more neutral to like brownish than Wherever Walnut, but it's like the same medium tone. And now I'm gonna use Dose of Colors Knock on One. Oh, oh, and I also use cork, a little bit of cork to deepen up the corners. How do you feel about John having a YouTube channel? Let him know, sis. Let him know. Why am I picking this one when I'm doing my lip color? I love that John has a YouTube channel now. I feel like he has so much passion for it. It's very surprising to me. The fact that you would not be on camera, you would not be in videos, you hated it, to now you're like posting on IG stories filming all the time. He's like so, he gets so excited talking about videos and like what he wants to film next. And every single time he talks about it, I'm still surprised, but I love that he has something that he like really loves to do. When I wear like matte, a matte liquid lip now, this is kind of how I like to wear it. Unless it's a really, really bold color, like a hot orange or something, but nude ones, just like this. Mm -hmm. And you can add a little bit if you want to, a little bit of a pucker. So maybe I'll just try a little tiny bit. This is Let's Cuddle. This one's pretty light on its own. So I'm just gonna add a little bit here. Oh shit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Honestly, I feel like I did my makeup quicker answering questions throughout it than I do normally, didn't I? Anyway, that being said, the makeup look is done. This is the perfect party look. Uh, or you know, going to the grocery store, whatever you wanna do. I love this eyeshadow look and the skin with it. It's just giving it to me. All right guys, so that wraps up today's video. Uh, make sure to check out the description box for more information on the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation, which I think looks pretty fab today. Anyway, you guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.